Hey guys, it's SJ, welcome over. Today I thought it would be really fun to sit and have a little chat about Christmas decorations. I know you're probably getting your mind to the loft or the shed as well. Have you already put them up actually? Some people have gone early. Um, but I have just been buying some new Christmas decorations. There's this amazing charity shop near me and they closed down for about two weeks and reopened as a pure Christmas warehouse basically the whole thing was just christmas decorations i was so excited for it um and then lockdown happened again here in england and i was like oh no so it had to close again but i managed to get in there like the the day it was closing and it had only been open a couple of days and it was rammed in there so i didn't film anything obviously we were doing like a one-way system everyone had their masks but it was like kind of busy so i'm going to show you what i got my kind of christmas decoration style so actually a few years ago I did the thing I threw out all the tinsel all the baubles that we had that were just kind of like you know mismatched I don't even know when we would got them and I just decided that everything was going to be our house is so kind of earth tones that actually having like loads of reds and stuff just looked a bit silly so I've kind of gone for a much more earthy toned um kind of simple um style for all our decorations a lot of it's made from like real um, materials things like that so then every year when I buy stuff hopefully it all kind of matches together my favorite thing I got oh I end up smashing something again <laughs> if you saw my last haul I smashed everything at the end oh my god um so favorite thing I got are these how beautiful are these little whole um basket full of these tiny little decorations they don't look used at all I wonder what that is I'm is it just straw like, you know when you go to like those places and the ladies dress up in like the old fashioned clothes and do wicker art? <laughs> I think that was my destiny. <laughs> um, but there's like little angels in there. This whole entire basket was four pounds, but they literally look brand new. I wonder if somebody's actually just made them and donated them. So first thing I saw were these little mini wreaths, um, which are so beautiful. Like you can imagine if you had like a doll's house even, you could kind of decorate it. Um, cones like this and then the other shape in here are like these big big round ones which are more like baubles but I absolutely love them um I'm wondering what to do with them so I was thinking rather than put them on the tree maybe they'd make like a nice mantelpiece thing or hanging off one of those long wreaths that you can buy the long wreaths what are those called or you know I was thinking about getting one of those big logs and people get the big logs and then hang these little things off and hang it up on a wall or something so any craft ideas let me know but i thought those were so sweet and for four pound and a gift to charity of four pound absolutely loved them so this goes against my red <laughs> no red but it is barber christmas but i loved these so these are like um look how cute they are they look like real vintage faces i don't know if they're vintage or where they came from there's no kind of mark on them two santas though that's confusing for the kids isn't it santa and his brother and it was on like a little hook and they had it sort of hanging down off like a shelf so i thought i might do the same um but they're really really nice yeah as i said nowhere no idea where they're from but they look quite vintage so i need to give these a clean actually you guys covered in soot but i think that they are super duper sweet quite fussy about what santas look like do you find that sometimes santas can look a little bit like freaky <laughs> um but he was really sweet i thought i love how you know when you got buy stuff in charity shops it all comes with a story so this is the story of somebody who bought a christmas biscuit tin <laughs> ate the biscuits and thought i know i'll donate that tin to charity and muggins here bought it <laughs> empty not even with the biscuits in um but i love this it's like a tin um but I love the colours. These are my colours exactly. Like my green sofa's there. Um, I've got loads of house plants. I love the gold. I've got loads of deer symbols. So that will actually look really nice on like um like my mantelpiece for Christmas. I think looks like a decoration to me. But yeah, it was just a little biscuit tin. So actually, top tip. I'm going to look at places like M and S and places like that do nice pretty biscuit tins, don't they? I'm going to have a look around. But thank you whoever donated that. And then this is similar. So this I think. I just thought it was like a music box because it plays a little Christmas tune and Evelyn has got a frozen music box and oh my god she loves it and I thought I would have anything like this it's got like the traditional nutcrackers on it <laughs> Evelyn has filled it already she found this the other day and I knew she would love it she filled it with her toys but I thought for like maybe Christmas like I'm maybe after school or something we can put like little biscuits in it and then play the songs and have it as like a little little special thing that it does Oh my god, has she broken it? <laughs> so it does wind up and it plays. What's 
song is that? Um, but yeah, plays a sort of tune. I think Music Box, Globes, magical, aren't they? So glad, happy with you. So I haven't massively decided on advent calendars this year. But I found this um, in the shop. I do have all the little drawers somewhere and there's some on the back as well. And it's basically like a little wooden one. So I was thinking, so all the little drawers pull out, obviously fun for little stuff and just to play with for in the kids' room, maybe as a Christmas decoration. But also I was thinking that maybe what I'll do is write little like ideas or get the kids to write little ideas of what they want to do kind of after school, like Christmas movie, um, make cookies or just eat cookies. <laughs> That's what they would write. I'll make them, they'll eat them. Um, and kind of just fill it up with little experiences, maybe. And I thought that might be a fun way of using something like this, but I quite liked it. It's wooden again, so quite nice and sustainable. And yeah, they're really, really sweet. It's quite well made. Same shop, how beautiful is this? I picked up this angel ornament and it's quite large so I quite liked it it's about the size of my hand and I think she's really pretty and quite special lots of nice detail on like her little toes and yeah I thought she was so lovely and we don't have a little angel so I think that that would be again something the kids really really love and this reminded me so much of do you remember like did your nan ever have those cabinets with like those little ornaments and my nan would let me like open it and play with them and I think that yeah I might do like some sort of little ornament display stuff and actually they had like a wooden nativity scene and I'm really annoyed with myself not getting it because I think the kids would have really liked that. Got these girls. <laughs> so these actually I got earlier on in the month but I never got around to showing anyone and I really love them. I've been looking for something like this because I see these a lot in um, Swedish like yard sales. When we go to Sweden we go to a lot of these Loppis yard sales and I just think they're really really nice again for like a kids room. So I will put them up. I think I'll put them up for Christmas as well and have lots of little people around and lots of playtimes but for a pound each I quite like stuff like that and it is the kind of thing you can find if we're doing like a very neutral scandy minimalist nursery and you don't want kind of um lots of garish colors around you can look out for this type of stuff down the charity shops and they're lovely again they don't look like they've probably been in some ladies cabinet and lastly i got um a little anthropology style stoneware jug so this was 2.99 but i really liked it and i feel like with this could even be a gift. Like I think it's nice enough to gift to somebody, but I'm gonna keep it as my little gravy boat because we don't have hardly any gravy in this family. I swear my kids don't like gravy. My husband doesn't like gravy. I think they're crazy. So it's basically just me. So for Christmas, I will have my gravy in my jug that I got from the charity shop that I'll pretend is anthropology. Um, it doesn't say where it's from, but really, really lovely. So again, really nice quality, simple, and it will look really nice on my kind of Christmas table. Oh, there were so many things in there that I wish I'd got. Like I sort of was in a rush when I went in there because they were closing and but I was thinking about these plates that I saw that I should have got because I quite fancy doing quite like an ornate and really, really pretty Christmas table this year. I don't know what we're gonna be doing. Obviously, at the moment, it's gonna be just the five of us at home. We had Christmas just the five of us a couple of years ago, so I've got three kids. Absolutely loved it. Like, if you've got a new baby or an under three-year-old, you will enjoy the not rushing, having the baby all to yourself, having a relax when the baby naps, not having to socialize was the best. I remember Evelina napped for a good two hours or something because she was so tired and I was like sat in bed watching Come Time With Me Christmas special, happiest day <laughs> ever. Like the boys were just downstairs playing with their toys. They have a computer game or something with their dad. So it is really special even if it is just a smaller group of you. Um, but yeah, fingers crossed we can see some family. We will see. Let me know any more Christmas content you would like from me because it is gearing up. It is getting to that season. All I want to watch is Christmas stuff now. Um, don't forget to hit subscribe. If you've watched all of the way through and haven't subscribed, I would love for you to be a subscriber here and I will see you on the next video. Stay home, stay safe, stay well and Merry Christmas. Bye guys.